So in front of me, I have a selection of Android phones from all the major manufacturers. And today we're going to try and find out which one has the best AI magic eraser. I think we'll start with Google. This is the Pixel 10 Pro Fold. We're going to be using this same photo on every phone and we're going to be trying to remove me from the picture. Google's got rid of me, but this sign is looking pretty weird. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 and we're going to do the same thing. Hit erase. Samsung's taking a while longer. For some reason I can't get Samsung to work. We'll come back to that. Now let's try Oppo. This is the Find X9 Pro. Okay, another interesting result with the sign in the background, but not a bad effort at all. Next we've got the Vivo X300 Pro, another one of my favorites. Here goes Vivo, pretty quick, very Russian. It looks looks quite good, but uh, yeah, super, super Russian on the text. Next up is Honor and the Magic 8 Pro. Honor is another brand that likes to brag about its AI capabilities, but how good is it really? Ooh. I would say that's not as good, but hey, that's what we got. Next up is Xiaomi. This is the 15T Pro. Oh, interesting. Xiaomi added an extra window behind and uh, yeah, did some interesting stuff with the sign again. Samsung finally worked. Here's what we got. Pretty good, pretty uh, not Russian looking, the text. So uh, that's what we got from Samsung. Next up is Nothing. We got the Nothing Phone 3A here. This one is called Magic Eraser as well. So I suspect it's probably just Google's Magic Eraser and you do have to install it if you've not used it before. Oh dear, bit of a mess. Not the most impressive. Next we've got Huawei and the Pura 80 Ultra. Oh my God. <laughs> Not incredible. And finally we have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 7. I think it's just Google's magic eraser yet again, but why not? Let's give it one more shot. Same mess on this one too. So who did the best? I think Samsung is probably my number one, followed by Xiaomi and Vivo in no particular order. Honor and Google were not too impressive, but they were both better than Huawei, Sony and nothing that definitely looked the worst.